this is third problem related to welded connections let us see the question a time member consists of two ismc 250 the channels ismc indian standard medium channel 250 the channels are connected on either side of the 215 mm thick cassette plate so let us draw it so the, this is 12 mm thick cassette plate and two channels are connected on either side so like this like this these are connected okay and this will go on uh, this design the welded joint to develop the full strength of the tie we have to design it for 100 percent efficiency however the overlap is to be limited to 400 mm so now we have to assume the data which is missing uh, that is the grade of the steel let us assume fe 410 e250 so table number one of is 800 gives the values of it ultimate strength would be 410 newton per mm square and this is fy yield strength is 250 newton per mm square so what we have to do so when we have to develop the full strength of the tie so the um, design strength of the plate tie member is nothing but the tension member uh, design strength of the plate should be equal to the design strength of the joint so how can you find out this design strength of the plate that is fy by gamma m naught into ag we have already discussed previously so ag is the gross area and we have to now write uh, the properties of ismc to 250 uh, here so i do not have stale tables right uh, right now with me but page number six gives you the values and the properties of is ismc 250 so from that so there we can get the value of thickness of web as uh, 7.1 mm web is this part this is 7.1 mm this is also 7.1 and thickness of the flange is 14.1 mm 14.1 this thickness of this flange is 14.1 mm right and sectional area this ag whatever we required that is given as 38.67 centimeter square now we can write it as 3867 mm square converted into square millimeter so from uh, so based on that based on the table the gross sec cross sectional area is this much fi is the yield strength 250 and gamma m naught is a uh, partial safety factor for yield strength that is given as 1.1 page number 30 of is 800 table number 5 please refer that so now we can find out this right 250 by 1.1 into gross area is 3867 so what is the design strength we get 87886363 63 newton so we got the design strength of the plate and that should be equated to the design strength of the joint how can you find out the design strength of welded joint so from page number 78 of is 800 this will be, uh, this is given the design strength is equal to the nominal sh strength by safety factor mw okay what is now fw in is f u by root 3 into effective area so now let us try to find out what is effective area area effective area is a effective throat thickness into we have already seen in the previous question right effective throat thickness multiplied by the length of the joint so unknown thing is length of the joint here so what is effective throat thickness again effective throat thickness zero points okay k into s so let me show you the code book page number 72 it will be given as our table number 22 so when uh, the angle between the fusion phases is 60 to 90 degrees it is k value is 0 0.7 and that means our joint length of uh, i mean our legs are connected perpendicularly so it is 0 0.7 as given in the table into size of the weld so how sh how much should be the size of weld so we have minimum size of the weld so from the same page we can see table number 21 says 
uh, when the thickness of the plate is less up to 10 mm the minimum size is 3 okay here this is minimum thickness is how much 7.1 mm or plate so this is less than 3 so minimum size would be 3 meter so maximum size would be that thickness minus 1.5 how did, does it come so my uh, here it says the effective okay so page number 79 it says 10 point 5.8.1 so I have highlighted this uh, where the fillet weld is applied to the square edge of the part the specified size of the weld should be generally be at least 1.5 mm less than the edge thickness so edge thickness is uh, one uh, already we have thickness of web itself that is 7.1 minus 1.5 how much we get this is 5.6 mm so the minimum minimum size should be 3 maximum size should be 5.6 let us assume the size of weld in between some 4 mm ok size of weld we got it in order to find out effective throat thickness that is how much k 0 0.7 into 4 we get 2.8 mm now effective throat thickness k area effective how can I write 2.8 effective throat thickness into length of the joint which we need to find out ok f u we know 410 by root 3 into area effective is 2.8 into length of the belt now let us equate them so if you equate them the length of the joint would be uh, 1658 upon calculation you will be getting it as 1658 mm so what was given in the question the allowable length should be limited to 400 mm so we have two ISMC so we can have the length of um, it, it should be 400 plus 400 okay but actually our requirement is 1658 we need to provide but the limited value is 400 only okay this is how it was so when you have uh, these plates so this is 250 as given ismc 250 right this is 250 so we have to divide it so we have to provide slot weld so we need a slot weld in order arrangement uh, let us draw it we have to provide the slot weld like this so now you can see the length is being increased so more than 400 so we can provide at least here some two x so uh, let us say let us say it is x some x value so we need to find out the, what is that x so we have to provide 400 on two sides again 400 plus 250 minus this gap we are assuming it as this gap 30 and this is 60 this is 60 30 60 okay 250 minus 30 the gap plus 4 4 lines are there 4 times this x should be equal to this length of weld 1658 so upon calculating we will be getting x as 167 so we have to provide this as 167 sorry we have to provide this as 167 mm. then it would be satisfied uh, so we are providing so this is their requirement we cannot go beyond that but we can provide slot wells in order to meet the 100 percent efficiency uh, we have to to equate to the the length of the weld uh, which was designed to get 100 percent efficiency thank you